Okay, question six, um, part one, asks us to, um, by sketching another curve, show that this function here has got two real roots. Um, and they've given us the sketch of kind of part of this, this function. Um, so we've got to work out what graph we need to draw in order to um, show that it's got two real roots. So if we think about what they've given us, they've given us the graph of x to the power of 4 minus 8x. We need to work out what we can make that equal to to see where they, the two functions meet, to see their points of intersection. And that will then, if we moved the function over here to the left hand side, we want it to equal this function here. So what needs to go on this side? Well I'm going to need a minus x squared so that when I add it on it becomes a plus x squared. And I'm also going to need a plus 9 so that when I take it away I get a minus 9. And those two things moved over to the left would give us this equation. So that's the equation we need to draw. But what will it look like? Well it's going to be the negative x squared graph going through 9 on the x-axis. We just need to be a little bit careful of what that graph will actually look like in comparison to this graph. So where will it intersect? We know it's going to intersect at about 9, um, but where will it intersect on the x-axis? It's going to intersect on the x-axis at plus or minus 3. Where does this graph intersect on the x-axis? So what's this point here? Is 3 going to be on this side or on this side compared to this point? Well, to solve that, we need to solve x to the power of 4 minus 8x equals 0. So if I factorise out a power of uh, a, a, an x, we're going to get x cubed take 8 equals 0. So x equals 0, that gives us that point of intersection which we can already see. But x cubed also equals 8, which means x will equal 2. So this point of intersection here is 2. So when I come to draw my 9 minus x squared, my x squared plus 9 graph, I need to make sure that I draw it on this side here. So we're going to get something like that. Try and make it look nice and symmetrical. And I'm going to have minus 3 there plus 3 there, 9, That's not. that needs to be my maximum point, I'm not happy with that. I'll just undo those steps. That's, that's better. Maximum point of 9, and we've got minus 3 and 3 there. And then from there we can see that we do have point, two points of intersection. We've got a point of intersection there and a point of intersection there. 